written down the words to say It is time, I've been waiting five days To explain how you make me feel inside Baby, got it all figured out Let me show you guys what it looks like outside in the real lot. It's raining, but oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> the wind's blowing that way, hold on. Okay, so y'all y'all notice, I dyed my eyebrows too. I dyed my eyebrows too. Shane says it's his favorite hair I've ever had, and I, I kinda get it, I kinda get it. Oh my gosh, y'all, there's so much has happened. Let me, I gotta explain to you what's happened, hold on. Okay, so the other day we had this big old dumpster delivered, and it's to get all of our renovation, uh, leftovers and the pile of junk and everything that's been growing steadily we started taking it off for a while and then we stopped and it just kind of grew 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 but i need to get all that out of the way so i was like okay i'm just gonna i don't know what that is on my nose but all we need to know is it's not a booger it's something with a camera or it's eyeliner or something i don't know i had them deliver a dumpster and then have them take it off so that i don't have to lug 42 trips to the landfill <laughs> you know so we were working on that and all of a sudden, I was inside because I was finishing up a video. I had went inside. Everybody else was out here. Everybody was kind of just having fun outside. It was a beautiful day. It wasn't like today, freezing and rainy and stormy and windy and all the things. It was beautiful. So I was inside, and all of a sudden, one of my kids comes sprinting in there. I mean, they're like flying. They're like, Mama, so-and-so is bleeding, and it's bad. And I was like, what the flip? So I like hurdle over the couch to get like this big girl, this big girl hurdled over a couch to get to one of my loved ones. And I was like, what is going on? A screw went through their foot. So we're trying to like hold t-shirts around the foot to kind of put pressure on it i don't want to show you the pedal because that's uh, when i tell you like it was everywhere all over the driveway it even went through two shirts it was a whole er visit it was wild it was crazy but thank god thank you jesus that it wasn't worse because the er doctor said it could have been a lot 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 worse they couldn't stitch it up because you can't stitch a puncture wound because the if there is an infection it's got to come out some way and it can't be stitched up in there so they couldn't stitch it but it's bandaged up really really good and they're on like heavy heavy antibiotics but i'm telling you the the mama wife hurdle i did and and the scream i let out it was like like i could have lifted a car with that adrenaline going i could have lifted a car absolutely so that happened and then i went to the salon and i got red because i was wanting cowboy copper so bad cowboy copper is something they're calling it on tiktok i have no idea why we're calling it that but we're calling it that and so i was like i want that so bad and it's my roots are like down to here you know and i was like it's time for me to do something different i was just going to get highlights because i really liked the highlights that i had and i was like you know what though i'm 32 years old i'm about to hit a midlife crisis why not just do it at a quarter life crisis and have it now and get it over with so i was like i'm gonna go copper i didn't want fire hydrant red i am not a fan of the fire hydrant red on me uh, -uh. no mm -mm, mm -mm. so i was adamant on it being copper well i got it done there and then i came home and a chicken there's a whole ordeal with chickens and i had to wash my hair and it washed all out literally all of the dye washed out and I was like, oh my gosh, which my hair was like. So she warned me like, hey, it, you know, it will fade really fast. I just didn't know it would fade that fast. She didn't know it would fade that fast either. So we were kind of both shocked. So I was like, crap, what am I going to do? So I went to Sally's and I walked up to the feller there and I made besties with him because he was so nice. But I was like, listen, I'm trying to go cowboy copper. Just hand me something. I trust you. Let's go. He handed me, it was like a gloss or something like that. And it wasn't going to be hard on the hair. And guess what? It washed right out so i was like okay now i gotta take matters into my own hands so now i gotta go in here and get my own stuff and figure out and do the science and 
all this stuff because you know incense for neutral and then the number is the shade and all that stuff i know all that stuff because i've dyed my hair since i was 12 13 12 or 13 so i know all that stuff but i don't want to dye my hair i'm not good at dyeing my hair i always miss a spot i don't want to dye my hair so i knew what to get i just didn't want to do it <laughs> i did not want to do it so i went in there i did two different wellas because i one of them was super red but i wanted a copper to counter act that red so it wasn't that fire hydrant red popped it with some developer voila we're here thank you jesus so then that happened <laughs> so then uh hi baby uh -huh. So then... Your hair is gorgeous. Um, what do you give it? I give it, I think it's probably my most favorite color you've had on your head. Ever? In the 15 years? In 15 years. Okay. Yeah. You ain't going back black, you ain't going back blonde. <laughs> so all that happened in a matter of two days. Well, like a day and a half, really. All of that, like the, the ER trip, the botched hair, all of that happened within a matter of a day and a half. So then, this massive storm comes through and the wind is crazy. Because up here on the hill, I told you guys, like the wind gets horrible up here. I mean, it's so bad. So the wind gets crazy and it's storming and rain and everything. And we had to put everything up in the dumpster. Well, what do you think happens? Everything comes flying out. So we're trying to secure it with two by fours, trying to make sure it like it doesn't fly away and damage somebody else's stuff. And so we're trying to put two by fours over it. That was insane. The storm literally just left earlier. So now we're at this point where it's just like the wind is not that bad and it's just really, really cold because it was 60 this morning and it went to 40 this evening. That was fast. We were worried about tornadoes and stuff, but thankfully, which by the way, my ADHD is off the chain today. But by the way, um, quit looking at me like that. You look like a snack. By the way, by the way, what is though. That wind bunk in here? By the way, I was watching. Commercial on the porch. I was watching Ryan Hall, y'all, and my nose. I put a little bit too much highlighter on my nose. It's like Rudolph, sh shiny Rudolph. Quit. So I was watching Ryan Hall, y'all and they have these storm shelters that you can get for like trailer parks and stuff it's, it's ideal for people in mobile homes and i want to get one so bad but they're super expensive so i told shane we need to start a manila envelope for that because those things are huge but it's worth it if it you know keeps you safe in a tornado so now we're here now i'm taking a breath now i'm like okay i can i can breathe for a minute i got my video ready to go up tonight which i didn't think was going to happen because the wind was blowing the power lines like crazy the wi-fi was going haywire i didn't know if it would happen or not but i got it up got it scheduled it'll be up at seven tonight and so now i can make a chaffle that's really all i've been thinking about today because <laughs> i'm hungry i ate my kraut and weenies for breakfast i ate my kraut and weenies that y'all seen me make in the last video for breakfast this morning but i really want tiktok sandwiches and i can't eat bread so i have to make my tiktok sandwich on a chaffle so that's what i'm about to do but I have to get that done in 30 minutes because I have an appointment with our lawyer this evening at in an hour or so. And I really need to prepare for that and get everything together. Oh, and after the lawyer, I have to run to Ross and get the kiddos britches because I did a declutter, a close declutter a couple of videos ago, three or four videos ago. And I need to replace their pants because they don't have hardly any. And all the other days in my week for the rest of this week are packed full of appointments and everything so i gotta get that done tonight no ifs ands or buts so as soon as i get in with the lawyer i'll run to ross yeah and do that welcome to the life of marina i.e fearfully created she's loving every minute of it but it is crazy I got at the Ross. I got rid of a bunch of clothes because they don't fit the kids anymore, the girls specifically. I told you guys I had to refill those clothes because they hardly have any pants. So we set them up. And I also got 
a couple things too. Okay, so so they have a lot of shorts, but they don't have a lot of jean shorts. And these are like kind of like little almost knee length shorts. So I thought these would be really good for the spring and the summer. I got these for ten ninety nine. Mostly they needed pants though because they don't have a whole lot of pants. So we found these champion ones, I believe. Oh no, these Under Armour ones. Snap. We found these for ten bucks. Ten ninety nine for Under Armour joggies. The kids are going to corral the dogs because I can't get it interrupted. Eleven ninety nine for these two toned champion sweats. I love these. My girls are sweatpants fanatics. They get it honest. I hate jeans. Even my jeans that look like jeans to y'all, they're either pajama jeans or they're jeggings. <laughs> I don't do jeans. I, there's, I have very few pairs of jeans and I almost never wear them. But I do wear my jeggings and I do wear my, my jean pajamas. These were $11.99. Anytime I can take advantage of a two pack from Ross, I always try to go that route because you get more bang for your buck. These peachy ones are like little drawstring sweat pants, but they're super buttery soft and they have like the little cinched like cuff there at the ankle. And this other one here has little butterflies and it's the same material with the little cinched cuff, drawstring and everything. They're both jogging pants. One's just butterflies and one of them's a peach color. I got both of these for $7.99. I'm telling you, when you get the the double packs, the triple packs at Ross, you get a steal. Same thing I did with these shorts here. I got a triple pack for $8.99, and then we got a pair of black buttery soft knee shorts, white buttery soft knee shorts, and gray buttery soft, like a heathered gray sort of buttery soft knee shorts. One of my girls is itching to wear these as soon as I get done filming this haul. <laughs> these were only, get ready, get ready for it. $4.99 for these draw, even Colton just gasped, <laughs> for this drawstring ombre jogging britches, $4.99. And they're buttery, buttery soft. Look, I love those, I love them. This one I gotta keep out for my girl cause she's wanting to get in them right away. And then they didn't need a whole, whole lot of shirts. They really just need t-shirts. They've got like little uh, jumpers and uh, tank tops, long sleeve shirts. They really just needed a couple of t-shirts and I didn't want to overdo it. So I just got this one. They love the Powerpuff Girls. On the back it has the big image and on the front it has a little image and it's kind of like a ribbed material. And it was $5.99. It was $5.99 so that's a good deal. We got this little Adidas shirt. My kids have the Adidas shirts in every color. They have rainbow, they have black, they have black and white, they have gray and white, they have pink and white, they have pink and gray. Now they have a white and glitter black one. This one was $7.99 and it's going to go with all of their jogging britches. The only thing is it's white and I usually don't bring white in this house but even this is white. Oh goodness gracious. This, my girls had a fit over. It's like a, almost a manga, manga looking Disney princess, anime sort of Disney princess style shirt, $4.99. You heard me, you heard me, $4.99. Oh, I forgot these two. These are like, they have like little designs on them and they're textured and they're the two packs. $7.99 for the two packs. We got this pretty green here, like sagey green and this black. I don't know about y'all, but for some reason, my girls, even though they're nine, they still have to wear size seven to eight leggings because these size 10 leggings are humongous. Even my tallest one can't fit in those. I don't know what it is. They have always had to size down like two to three sizes in their pants. Every year they had to size down because they can't fit in their size pants. So I got these in a seven to eight. And the good thing about these is I learned from my days of not having nothing. Leggings are the way to go when it comes to shopping for the kiddos because leggings like this, legging pants, turn into legging capris and it looks like it's supposed to be that way. That's a, that's a 2019 trailer park hack for y'all right there. Always go with the stretchy leggings pants so that they can turn into capris and look like they were meant to be that way. And then Shane was needing some socks, so we got him some socks. These were 10 bucks. Yeah, 10 bucks for a 10 pack. It keeps running away from me and I want it to stay still. For me, I got these for $3.99 because I'm trying my best to keep from pulling my hair up. 
because my hairline is very George Washington-y and it just keeps receding. It just keeps receding. I want it to come back and then stay still, but at least stay still, but it keeps going backwards. So I'm trying out stuff like this. I like the claw clips, but they break on me so easily, especially the ones from Ross. I don't know if y'all remember me getting a couple from Ross a little bit ago and they broke on me, like all three of them snapped on me. I literally leaned my head up against the wall and one of them broke, like, I mean just, snapped. I didn't like bam either. Like I just gently laid my head back and it broke. So I'm playing with fire by trying these, but I love this design and they're the bigger ones. And I want to find the jumbo ones like this, but A, I don't look right with claw, claw clips. I don't know why. It's like the shape in my head. It's oddly shaped or something. I don't know, but I just, I don't look right in them, but it's necessary because I don't want my hairline to recede. I mean, I'm not always gonna wear them. I obviously still wear buns all the time majority of time like nine times out of ten i'm gonna be in a bun you're gonna see me in a bun but i'm trying to do better and the last two things i got were these shorts man they look like curtains these are nikes i think i got them at 4x no 3x I got these in there oh, did that say women's did i get something in the women's section by accident huh i never get nothing in the women's section it's women's. They were in the men's section. And these are women's. 3X and women's. Got these. It's going to make my rear end stand out though. So I don't know about that. But I was looking for something to walk in the treadmill with. And now that I'm thinking about it, that might give me road burn on my inner thighs. It might. I might not be able to use it. I might have to like use something else and use these for just the summer. I found these. I love it when I can find these. So these right here. Are Under Armour. I have another pair of Under Armour that I've owned forever and I hold on to those with my dear life because it's so hard to find shorts like this in my size. Like this is a size 3X too but I think this is in men's. Let's see. Yeah this is in men's. 3X in men. Men's clothing is always bigger and, and roomier anyway so I got these. That's why I always go for their stuff but I got these with the little Under Armour symbol. So my girls are going to be running in here grabbing for their comfy clothes. Guarantee it. In five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> They're like vultures they when slid they in. They slid in on their socks. Hold that for me. Uh, I want one of these. Good morning. Look at this. I got me a cinnamon chaffle here with some sugar-free homemade glaze and a little bit of sugar-free syrup. This has cheese in it, like, and sour cream. This is interesting, but hey, let's try it. Let's try it. YOLO, you only live once. I'm not here for a long time. Well, I'm trying to be here for a long time. <laughs> and I'm here for a good time. A little eggy, but I'm not gonna lie. That's banging. Like that is banging. When y'all said, if I don't want my waffles to be so eggy, then, I just need to take some of the yolks away. I'm gonna do that today. But I think Jesus and Chaffles are gonna carry me through this keto thing. I'm gonna put the recipe up here on the screen if you wanna try it. I modified it a little bit. I put a little bit of coffee creamer in my sugar-free, like, sweet cream thing I did, drizzle. But really, that's the only thing that I did any different. I just put some, I think it's Italian cream, sugar-free coffee creamer in my little drizzle mixture. But tonight I'm letting it go Spend my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself Or I could be someone else No one's stopping me now I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I just wanna feel alive It's just what I do when I'm out So try not to hold me down Feel alive So I'm snacking on swami 
And let me tell you what just happened. So I went to the P.O. box to grab some, um, P.O. I went to the P.O. box to grab some P.O. box mail, obviously. <laughs> I was going with that. Earlier, if y'all remember, I was telling you, one of you guys told me that I could make a truffle taste less eggy if I didn't use, like, the egg yolk so much. And in my mind, I was thinking, because oh, I told y'all, truffles and Jesus are going to get me through this thing. I was like, snap, that's a good idea. But... I'm horrible at separating eggs. Like, I'm horrible at it. And so, in my head, I literally thought, you're horrible at that. What are you going to do? I go to a P.O. box. And let me tell you, in, on this channel, if little things like this, I'm if you don't believe in God, let little things like this that happen to me all the time lead you to belief. Because, you know, I'm telling you, I go to the P.O. box, open up this uh, package from a sweet friend. She wrote the sweetest card. Your daughter sounds awesome. But she said, I wanted to send this egg separator as a little gift to you. And I was like, are you Even Shane was like, because I had literally just said, ma'am, I suck at egg separating. And I was worried it was going to make it hard with the truffles tasting so eggy. I was determined, bound and determined. I was like, directly I'll learn how to separate eggs and, and I'll get better at it. But I was worried. And then lo and behold, if one of y'all didn't come through, I'm telling you, I didn't even know egg separators like this existed. It is so cool. I'm gonna try these for the first time. They're the protein chips, spicy sweet chili. I haven't tried these before. And I'm also gonna try it with the last Ollie I have in my fridge. Thank you, Jesus. I've been trying to trudge through this, trudge through those Ollies. All right. I like the lime ones, like the pepper lime ones, and I like the taco ones, and the ranch ones are okay, but and the cheddar ones are okay, but I ain't ever tried these. Drum roll, please. Why are these not hopped up? Oh, my lanta. What does it taste like? If a barbecue chip and salsa had a baby. I have heard raves about like the taco ones and stuff, but... I haven't heard anything about this one. Why? Okay. Go get you some of these. They got a little bit of spice. Just a little bit, not a lot. Ooh, that one might have a lot. Look at that. My favorite's the dark one. Go get you some of these. I never get hyped about a product like this. This is good, man. Either the Keto's went to my brain or like everybody's sleeping on these. I just went to push up my glasses. I don't have any on there. Okay. Y'all see how I dyed my eyebrows to match? I'm going to pretend ginger. I'm jealous of anybody who has naturally red hair. Oh my gosh. Y'all are beautiful. I'm going to try this. Orange squeeze. It's the last Ollie in my fridge and I am excited about it. Jelly knows she's about to get this one. Smelling orange. But the smell does not tell you how it's going to taste. Look at it, Boo back there. What are you doing, babe? Is it artificial? What are you doing, babe? Oh, these are banging. Those chips. You want to taste? The let's, Quest. Let's have Shane taste this one. These this are the best it. chips. I'm obsessed. Let's see. Shane's a chip master. What do you think? I like that. All right, let I me like try that. this. There is a top of one. What? Oh. <laughs> Ew. Ew. So I gotta wait for Nanny to come pick up her fireplace that finally got here. I got her one of the fireplace inserts that we have because she had a fit over mine and I was like, okay, Nanny, you know when you say you like something, you know I gotta go get it now. She's leaving church and headed here and Nanny talks for forever. So I'll be surprised if she gets here before midnight. But while I'm waiting on her, I'm gonna do some laundry because some laundry needs to get done. Found me when I couldn't see the surface and you pulled me yeah, you pull me to the shore You held me In your arms when I was broken When this world's not making sense to me I can't sleep Not in this bed If you aren't in and now No, I can't breathe Okay, what scent do we want to cover the fart smell up with? Ooh, I need to get through these while we're still in like the wintry cold 
yeah, we're gonna use this. I got a candle to match this too. I don't know about it yet. I'll light it tomorrow. Got these at Ollie's. These taste. These taste. <laughs> these smell vanilla minty. Really, really good.
beans and green beans for the billionth day in a row. But it's doing it. And thank goodness that I meal... No, not thank goodness. Thank God that I meal planned and meal prepped. Because I'm telling you guys, that is the key. I could just walk in there, grab lunch or dinner, whichever I decide to eat this for. And pop it in the microwave and eat it. And that was so easy. I didn't have to think about what I was going to have to cook. And then cook. And then get overwhelmed at the thought of cooking. Getting overwhelmed at the thought of cooking two different things. Because my family eats one thing and I eat another. This right here is going to be awesome. I'm going to do more prepping today. Because I only have a few more of these left. I'm pretty sure I'm doing steak and peppers if I'm not mistaken. Like sort of hamburger steak and peppers. And then I might add green beans as a side too. But this, y'all, I also cheated and weighed myself this morning. But I'm not going to show you guys till I weigh myself tomorrow. Boom. I'm really happy. So I have a treadmill, but I really am partial to coming out here and walking our property, like around the perimeter of our property. If it rains, like it was raining horribly earlier, so like I, I should have got on the treadmill, but I looked at the forecast and it said it was going to stop raining and I was like, that's when I'll go out and get my walk in. And I walk around the perimeter and we got about two and a half acres. So, like, it gives me a good workout, especially if I walk around it several times in my Crocs with water coming through. <laughs> On the treadmill, I usually listen to audiobooks, but I like to come out here and walk because when I come out here and walk, it's virtually impossible for me not to thank God for this land and this house and YouTube and you guys and when I'm out here and smack dab in the middle of it you can't ignore that you can't ignore the work of God so I like to come out here because then I end up thanking God and getting myself into a praise session and killing two birds with one stone <laughs> I get my prayer time in and I get my walking time in the terrain can be a little bit rough <laughs> I follow my barbed wire fence, so at the perimeter of our land, we have a barbed wire fence, and like it's a gnarly barbed wire fence. Hold on, I'll show you. We have this barbed wire fence. It's about, I'd say, five foot tall. It's about as tall as I am when I get up to the post, and it goes all the way up that area, and goes all the way down that area, and all the way around. So I usually walk alongside it, even though the terrain's a little rough. I usually bring Binks and Tater out here with me, not to walk with me, because Lord knows this is the fence that Tater loves to get under and go torment the donkey, <laughs> the mule. <laughs> this is the one. The mule's right back there, and Tater loves to get under this fence and torment the mule. But I still like for them to get out and get fresh air because we can't trust them to run around, you know, without the without a proper fence that's what we're doing is we're getting a proper fence so that they can be free out here in the backyard like the other dogs the other dogs callbacks are way better if i holler for blue jeans she's on it like donkey kong if i holler for rocky he's right there if i holler for moon pie she does nothing but if shane hollers for moon pie she comes back binks and tater however binks would but Binks and Tater are a duo, so whatever Tater doesn't do, Binks doesn't do. Let's go through the woods here. Little big woods. So if Tater ignores me, Binks is easily influenced, and he'll ignore me. Even though I'm the love of his life, and he's the love of my life. They're up there right now hollering, looking all innocent, and being like, Mama, let us walk with you. Knowing good and well the minute I let them out, they are gone like a fart in the wind, and I have to jump over barbed wire and crawl through fences and woods and all sorts of things to get them back. Oh gosh, it's one of their dogs. I usually just go around the front of the house. Hold on, I'm about to take off running. You hear my dogs inside? They hear a dog barking at me? Listen. My dogs hear a dog barking at me. They don't like that. We need to do something about these windows right here. I don't know if y'all can see. These are fairly new windows and they look like it from the inside. But on the outside, the caulk job is not that great. So I'm actually considering replacing the whole windows 
themselves like obviously like not tomorrow because those are really expensive but I'll consider starting an envelope for windows and getting a whole new style because I'm not a fan of the style that she had put in they're beautiful windows but I would like but I would like a I ought to walk down my driveway but I ain't that committed it's a long way down and a longer way up Let's go up the hill here. Let's hope I don't slide in mud. But I'm wanting to get some new windows. I'm gonna wait to do that until I um, do the outdoor makeover. Cause the house outdoors right now, it just looks like your standard 1991 double wide. But the dream I have envisioned for it, that ground soggy. The dream I have envisioned for it is a lot different. The storm's over, so I could let the chickens out. I might do that on the I might do that on the next round. Um, but the dream I have for it is totally different than what it looks like right now. So I'm talking like different siding, different color, different shutters, different windows, different porch, an addition, big things. So I'm probably gonna wait till we get there because i'm doing the inside first probably gonna wait till we get done with the inside stuff majority of the inside stuff and then tackle the outside once the inside is all done and if i'm breathing hard i'm sorry y'all i'm really out of shape exercising and walking especially on the hills because my house is on a huge hill and it has a bunch of hills on the huge hill that it's on the terrain it's not easy. <laughs> I mean, for the average person it would be, but for a more sedentary, well, I'm not really sedentary, because I'm always up doing something. I'm just not strenuously doing something. I'm chaotically doing it, but I'm not strenuously doing it. So, getting myself into the habits, which is why I'm being so consistent and trying my hardest to keep going. So that I can walk my property and not almost die. Because the more breath I have, the more that the more breath that I had to praise Jesus. It's a double-edged sword. <laughs> when I walk out here though, man, you guys, you guys found me. When I was at the trailer park, you know, I love my trailer park, love the trailer park people. I was forever trying to break the stigma of trailer park living because I had good people. People who, I mean, would give you a shirt off your back people who were nice and wasn't anything like what the world says they are you know a lot of the world not everybody sees a trailer park as a bad thing but a lot of people do they look down on it so when you guys felt me I was there and I thought and I still do think that in order to not let get them roosters going and those dogs going we're just gonna work, walk the backyard perimeter and we'll just do it more times than I would the entire perimeter to get my steps in. Um, but when I got there, I had prayed for that single wide. And I had prayed. I was like, God, I want that single wide so bad. I want a trailer. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care about nothing. Just give me a three-bedroom, two-bath trailer, Lord. And he did. I thought it couldn't get any better than that. I legit thought I was on top of the world. And I was. Cause Shane and I went from being dirt poor. We can't even feed ourselves poor. To being stable in a trailer park. That was, for both of us, that was amazing. <laughs> and we were content. And we would have stayed content. And then I felt God calling me to something else. And then I ended up here. Yeah. You wanna know what's wild to me? There's a there's a hundred thousand people on the other side of the screen. And that sometimes that hits me like freight train and I'm like Oh my gosh Marina There's a hundred thousand people on the other side of the screen And I don't understand it. And it's weird to me 
granted I don't need to understand it and I'm kind of glad I don't understand it because I feel like if I began to understand it that would I don't know that would change my mindset like if I were to understand while well, there were while there were a hundred thousand people on here watching me then that might lead me down a road that's less humble with less humility and I'd rather be kept in the dark and not understand it and remain in my humility than to come to understand you know what I'm saying like I, under, I understand all I need to understand that because of God I have that many I have that many friends on here but that's as far as my understanding goes and that's as far as my understanding wants to go I want to know it's God and I just want to know it's God I don't want to know a technique I do I don't want to know the algorithm for me I know nothing about the algorithm know nothing about my analytics all the YouTube people know all that about themselves and I know nothing about it and I want to keep it that way I don't want to know what thumbnails people prefer I don't want to know what style of video they prefer I just want to know that at the end of the day anything I do on here is driven by God and I don't know all the stuff about the algorithm and the analytics and the thumbnails but God apparently does and I like leaving it at that because he's the backbone of this channel not myself see it goes two ways if I did this without God, nothing would happen. But God could get this done without me. He would find somebody else who's willing and ready and obedient. That shows you what the most important component of this channel is. It's God. He could do it with or without me. I can't do it without Him. And I like being comfortable in that. And I like knowing that even if, God forbid, I fall, somebody else will pick up the mantle. And somebody else will get God's stuff done. I pray to God I never drop my mantle. I pray to God I never fall from it. But I'm 100% confident. 1 billion percent confident. God will get it done without me. I'll let my chickens out maybe. And do a couple more rounds. Lord Jesus, please be with whoever that is. Those emulets are going to. It's been a week. It's time to weigh in. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, see, see, it looks like I got a fire. Change the color, Shane. The fire. Oh, look at that. Hey, I wanna get between. And we're out and I didn't I mean I don't have a microwave to bring my meal prep with me so what I did was everybody else got McDonald's so I got a boneless Big Mac but boneless? I can boneless did I say boneless I got a boneless. boneless I, I said boneless I got a boneless Big Mac but I cannot eat that like a salad there's no way so I stopped in at Food City got keto bread it says zero grams of net carbs but it actually has on the back if we're subtracting dietary fiber 
It has about one carb per slice and I'm going to use it as buns. Um, and then I didn't get fries like everybody else. I have Quest chips here. I'm finding it's a little bit hard to navigate and modify stuff, but it's doable. So I'm just trying to do that. It's not always going to be a salad. I've been eating really healthy. I've been eating a lot of vegetables and a lot of meat and hardly any carbs at all. Especially my dinners. My dinners relatively have like no carbs, hardly at all. I've been eating really, really good. I just can't bring my meal prep, you know, unless I want to eat a cold hamburger patty. <laughs> so don't, <laughs> I can't bring that with me. So I can't find ways to modify this though when I'm out and about with the family. <laughs> Look, she looks like Edna Mode from Incredibles. So I'm in my bathroom eating, and before you say ooh, I'm just trying to get away from the mac and cheese smell that the family is eating right now. I was like, mac and cheese is my kryptonite. I don't know if I have the strength for this, so I'm going to hit up my bathroom at the very, very back of the house, and I'm going to eat my little vegetables, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to not mess up. <laughs> I will see y'all later this week. I have, I'm working on a few videos, actually. Two of those videos are makeover related. They're like home updates related. One of them's outside. We've actually started sanding the porch, but I've mentioned I wasn't happy with that stain because like it, I don't know, the mud shows up so much on it. I don't like how it just, it's impossible to keep clean. So we've started sanding it down. We've sanded a couple sides of the fireplace and the back part of the porch we're gonna do a big thing back there but it probably won't get done till closer to springtime if yeah probably springtime and then we're working on another portion of the house too and then i'm working on a third video so i'm working on several videos i don't know which one you guys will see next but i should have one of them done here in the next few days so be looking for one of those i'm gonna chow down in here in the bathroom <laughs> with my vegetables we had a 5.6 pound loss this week that is pretty good like I I was struggling and I was afraid but it's hard for me to lose weight I don't lose weight easily but I am obese and obese people do lose weight faster than like thinner people I also have a lot of issues and I have a lot of thyroid issues too and uh, there's a lot of stuff that's against me losing weight like in my body my body literally works against me losing weight so the fact that we had a 5.6 pound loss this week in seven days is pretty awesome. Granted, a lot of that is probably water weight because you lose a lot of water weight when you first start any diet or any lifestyle change or anything like that. But I've been consistent in a no sugary drinks whatsoever. It's been water or sugar-free something or, you know, those Ollie's. And I haven't been eating sweets. If I've been eating anything like sort of sweet, it's been sweetened with stevia. And um, that's, that's not as bad as I thought it was for you. I said I thought it was bad for you or something like that. And a bunch of you guys are like, Marina, it's actually like from a plant extract or something. And I looked it up and it is actually from a plant. So that's not as bad. I feel not as bad eating stevia now. I think aspartame or aspartame or something like that is the one that's bad for you. I don't know though. I'm no scientist. But honestly, y'all, I'm just grateful and thankful that I had some sort of loss this week. It means that we're in the right direction and we're going strong and we haven't had any falls. Not saying I'm above falling. Lord knows. I almost did with the mac and cheese. I almost fell into the mac and cheese. I almost died into that stuff. But I didn't. I came in here to the nasty bathroom air to finish up my food just to get away from it. So thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning. If not, whatever it is, wherever you're at, know that I love you, but... Jesus Christ of Nazareth loves you so much more. Thank you so much more. I will see y'all later.